What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Baseball News. I'm your host Ivancito Perez bringing you the latest on baseball this off season. Alright, let's talk about one of the big topics around baseball at the moment. Uh, infielder prospect Cuban Joan Moncada. This guy rated from 20 to 80. That's how the baseball, the Major League Baseball um, rate players. So he's about in the top, let's say 70, I think, in running. So that's a lot. The guy can hit for power. He can hit, run as well. Um, has a good arm. Everything. He's a switch hitter. Plays second base. Uh, there's about five teams after that guy. So the teams are the Boston Red Sox, New York Yankees, Dodgers, Padres, and the um, Tigers. Sure, but at the moment that the Dodgers are winning the bid to get to Simon Cada, he's still a 19-year-old prospect, so it's a little bit of risk. But it's a big uh, prospect. People considering like the latest thing, like Jesse Puig a few years back, a couple of years back, something like that. The guy, uh, he was playing Cuba before he defected with some other guy. Uh, I think while well, he was in the Caribbean series, not sure. They already passed this. Uh, it was over this Monday, yesterday, I think. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, um, there's a fee, not a fee, like a penalty to sign the guy for the Dodgers and the Yankees if they get to sign them. Anyone? Uh, it's a hundred percent penalty since they they passed the limit on the international signing last year. For the Yankees, they had a $2.2 million. They exceeded with Tanaka. So, if they get to Simon Cada uh, before spring training starts, instead of paying $40 million, for example, they have to pay 80, 80, 80 million bucks. So, I think they can cover, but still, it's a lot of money for just a 19 year old guy. The same thing goes with the Dodgers. I'm not sure how much they spend. On the international signings, but uh, they had to do the same thing since they exceeded their limit from last year. It, if one of both teams signed them, they're gonna be penalty for not doing any signing internationally for around two years. So the guy is pretty. It's a it's a risk for that, but I think it's a good risk. Uh, let's see. The possible five possible teams he might choose. Uh, sources tell that he might choose choose the Yankees. Uh, I th again, the Yankees have to pay a lot, but I don't I don't think that he's a uh, it's going to be a problem with it. But the guy is not yet decided who, so the Yankees expect him to be with him in spring training. Or him with the Yankees, so it's it's a pretty big topic for the few few weeks now. But I want to see how it goes. Now, before we leave, I want to give you a few arbitration signings from the Angels. The Angels signed Matt Joyce for one year deal, four point seven five million dollars. As well, they did on a few months back with David Freeze, Drew Butera, Hector Santiago, Cesar Ramos. And, and other guys to avoid arbitration hearing and stuff. Uh, so I, I bet this, uh, this stuff is not gonna, gonna be over, but I hope it's over before spring training starts. And um, that's about it. Okay, yeah, before we leave, I wanna ask you guys uh, I'm thinking about doing some videos before the season starts about each team. So, one video for the team. So it'll be like 30 videos. I don't mind doing the videos. And then uh, try to break down the divisions. So please in the section, in the comment section below, please let me know uh, which team which uh, which team to start off with. So I can just build up there from there. And also which uh, division after that. And which team like from worst to best or best to worst 
anything like that just let me down let me know in the session the comment section below and pretty much we're done well if you like enjoyed this video please like and subscribe down there you know down, down, down. and see you next time all right peace